What is up guys, Apathy back in the building today with another video talking about a certain subject that I felt like I really wanted to talk about because these past couple of days haven't been really feeling the same. You know, Call of Duty has just been different, at least for me and probably for a lot of people that have been doing the same thing I've been doing. You know, when I first got into Call of Duty, it felt more like a, you know, something fun, something, it didn't feel like a job, it didn't feel like it wasn't as stressed. It was basically some. I was just playing video games and, you know, actually, you know, making it as a job because obviously I was getting income, but it didn't feel like it's exactly a job. And the reason I'm talking about this today also is because a lot of you guys know I've been grinding game battles matches. Uh, yesterday I had about a 12 hour stream just straight of game battles, 12 hours of straight up game battles. My thumb still hurts now that I'm playing again when I woke up. It was hurting pretty bad as I was finishing up. And I still gotta do this for maybe two more weeks. Hopefully not too long, but I still do gotta play game battles a lot. The pro points don't close, I believe, until January 29th for Atlanta. So due to not closing until January 29th, even if we do somehow do good in these 2Ks and stuff like that, uh, until the last 2K is over, you know, I'm pretty much forced at this point to continue to play them because we really want to get into pool play. We obviously really want to secure a spot and make sure 100% we get it. It really depends if we win like the next two 2Ks and we probably won't have to grind them as much. But we probably have to casually play them maybe for a couple of days. But a lot of you guys know, like I said, I've been playing a lot of GBs. That's, that's another reason why I'm doing this video. Just talk about you guys about it. You know, keep you guys updated. And, you know, there's not really... Usually when I play gameplay maps, you know, play scrims, I'll upload a crazy match or something like that. But I'm not doing any of that right now. I don't have time to do anything else. Like, I mean, maybe a vlog, but the vlog is in like a 10-minute vlog talking about a certain subject. But I don't have time to do any crazy videos. Nothing. It's This is my life for now. It's going to be my life. So, a lot of you guys know... Um, I've been playing pretty much getting on playing at the same hour. It's feeling like a straight-up job You know I get on at 2 I get off at 2 there's no like there's no there's there's like a 30 minute break And even my breaks are pretty shit. There's it really feels like a job it, It's something that made me think about this is Jcap tweeted it out the other day. He's like this no longer feels this this legit feels like a job like it really does like right now as of now, the way we're playing, the, the amount of time, the amount of stress, the, like how it's all being panned out, it really legit feels like a hard working job. And it's fine. You know, that's the real life. That's the real world. And, you know, it's partially obviously my fault and my team's fault that we're in this position ourselves. We put ourselves in a way in this position. Obviously, it's, it's more, more my fault than theirs. But, you know, this is something that I know we'll put through. This is something I know we'll get through together. Uh... You know, the pro points are really important this year, and getting into Atlanta pool play is going to be really important. And the biggest reason is a lot of you guys heard Atlanta was announced, and the pro points are very, very, very big in, uh, in, that, in that event. So, let's say, you know, knock on wood, but let's say I somehow, we somehow place like top 32. Going, coming, going through open bracket. Let's say we had to go through open bracket and place top 32. Yes, we still get a decent amount of pro points, but we're gonna be so far behind and if someone places like top 16 they get like three times our pro points that we got from top 32 just because how high the pro points are at Atlanta but let's say we get into pool play <clears throat> and we we lose but at least we there's no really flukage and we get at least top 16 and we still get a decent amount of pro points which can help us and hopefully we place well at ESWC and we're good we're valid we're valid from placing good at ESWC and decently enough in Atlanta now that's something you gotta also look at. So with Atlanta being such a big and huge event and being has having such a great impact like a big impact in pro points, this is another huge reason why we really want to be in pool play and we just wanna make sure, you know, there's no fluke being there's no flukage, you know, there's no way for us to like not get a lot of pro points. We need to make sure we get a lot of pro points because it's going to be very 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 important especially for a team like us that are kind of kind of behind in the pro point system right now but if we let's say place like third at Atlanta we would easily bump up to probably third place in pro points and that's just at least third or fourth and that's just something crazy that's something huge and to us like I said you know I've talked about it multiple times maybe some of you guys know this I don't know if it's all public information but pro points are going to be big this year. Pro points are big right now. And it's going to be really important, you know, to qualify for a lot of stuff. So we need these pro points. It's really essential that we get them. 
and that's why I've been grinding. I've been playing game battles only, and it really sucks. I've, I want to scrim, you know. I want to get better at the team. I want to practice, you know. I feel like we're we're a, we're a pretty good team right now. We are. We're not bad at all. Like we have potential. We, we've been playing pretty well usually when we scrim. Uh, the 2K, we only lost a phase, and we were up 2-0, and they just they came back and won three maps in a row. We couldn't close the SD. The uplink was on their host. They just kind of shoved us and up there, you know, which they kind of kind of shit on us. And then the hardpoint was on our host, but that's like probably their best hardpoint map, and we we're just getting shit on that map. You know, no excuses. Obviously, we should have won, but I'm, all I'm trying to say is we play really close with the best teams in the game. You know, online or land, we play really close. We have a lot of potential. But I know, like, we easily would get better if we can practice. And that's something that kind of hurts us right now. But, like, at this point, we got to make the sacrifice, right? Like, getting into pool play is essentially more important to us and obviously to my whole team and just important in general than scrimming. Yes, you know, like, another way to think about it is, yeah, teams will be a little bit maybe ahead of us, maybe a little bit. Let's say pro points close on January 29th, right? The event is until, like, February 12th, I believe, 11th or 12th. So we'll have about almost two weeks. Like, let's say we do make it a pool play and we didn't scrim much. Maybe, we'll, maybe we will get, I don't think we're going to be playing GBs the whole time. Maybe we'll get a couple scrims in, depending on really how we do in the 2Ks. If we do good in the 2Ks, then, you know, we there's there's, there's probably going to be one or two days that we won't go as hard as GBs. Maybe play like 6 or 7 and just get some scrims in because we have that, you know, that leverage now. But that really depends just how we do in the 2K and it really depends how the other teams do in the 2K. Because if they do really good and we do really good, then it kind of negates the progress and we're still kind of on the same boat. But I'm really hoping, you know, like I said, January 29th is probably going to be the cutoff date for Pro Points. I'm pretty sure it's already, uh, I'm pretty sure it already is. And with that being said, uh, we'll have about almost two weeks, you know, to practice for Atlanta. So we'll be able to scrim more. You know, Pro Points won't really be a big factor anymore. And that just allows us to have that free time to practice and scrim and go hard. And hopefully those two weeks will be enough time, you know, to make sure we get better and prepare us for Atlanta. But yeah, guys, just a little update video. You know, this now really feels like a job. It's been stressful. You know, I'm sorry. I didn't upload a video yesterday. I didn't know what to upload. I didn't have any time to upload on top of that. Like, I don't have time to go out, you know, get some stuff or do, like, a crazy video or just think of something. Like, I have to just get on, play GBs, get on, play GBs quickly. Like, right now, I'm going to do, I'm going to render this video. I'm going to go to the bank. I'm going to do something quickly in the bank. I'm going to come back, eat, shower. No, I'm going to shower now, but I'm going to eat, and then I'm going to hop on and play GBs. It's just a life really feels like a job it's been kind of stressful but it is what it is you know in life some sometimes hard stuff are going to come to you you just got to try your best to overcome it this has been your boy apathy hope you all have a great day don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'm out i'm probably gonna be live streaming as well if you guys want to go check out my stream see you guys tomorrow peace